My horse is good. I've got a good horse here, and he's gonna, he's gonna help me all the time. He's my, he's my, he's my friend. He's my friend. What the hell's that? A deer. Yeah, but on PS3, I mean, I'm surprised we never actually saw the really, the, the like the mini DLCs, like the um, the castle one, whatever that was called. Yeah, we never actually saw that DLC, and I haven't got them on the PC. But they weren't included in the Game of the Year edition, and they were basically a bit smaller than the half fire ones. But yeah. Thing is, though, guys, although Dragonborn is meant to be them, they say that it was their most imaginative DLC yet. It might be their most imaginative, but it's not their biggest. You know, um, the Shearing Isles was much, I think the Shearing Isles was much bigger than that. Fair mind, no mind. It was not a great DLC, the Dra Dragonborn DLC. And with my Skyrim DLC, guys, because I've got more LPs to do, like, more games to LP now, I'm not going to be doing, like, DLC separately if I want to do, or, uh, uh, like, a quest line separately. If I want, if I want to do it, and it suits my character, I'll be doing it in that game. And if it doesn't suit my character and I want to do it, I suppose, I suppose it's kind of like tough luck kind of thing. I suppose if I do, ooh. Hang on, 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 hang on. Massive gnome root there. Going back. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose if I, um, if I, when I finish Skyrim, I could do some, if, I, if the Elder Scrolls 6 isn't out, I suppose I could do that. Because, you know, I mean, the Elder Scrolls 6, as soon as that comes out, I will be, I will be LPing that as soon, as soon as it comes out. And because of the DLCs, of course, guys, what I'll do is I'll, extend it as well when it when the DLCs come out if I want to do them I'll play through it once if I like the DLC if it suits my character I'll go back and do it and I'll, that's what I'm going to do with the Elder Scrolls 6 guys because of course Skyrim was out when I started my channel and I wanted to do Oblivion first and Oblivion was of course out and all the DLC was done for that um, you know it was gonna you know it, it was gonna um, I obviously didn't have to wait for anything with Skyrim again you know it went by the time I finished Oblivion all the DLCs will be out the most likely finished the patches and everything like that by then um, so then, I won't need, you know, I, I, I um, you know, I won't, so I, for the scum, I won't need to wait at all as well. Tell Elder Scrolls 6, I will have to wait, because if I do it immediately, the DLC won't be immediately launched. You know, it's, it's a few years at a time, uh, like, it over their launch, just to launch, I suppose. Unless the DLC somehow, for, no, unless it lasts, like, my Elder Scrolls 6 LP lasts a very long time, and it ends up, spe like, taking up basically all the time. Until um, th up to the DLCs, which it could happen, I suppose, because I mean, Skyrim. Well, I mean, you know, um, Oblivion was a big, was a big, like a long game, a big game. Skyrim was even bigger. Now when we're talking about next-gen consoles, which is going to make them even more, which is 16 times more powerful, it's going to be way, way bigger. They're going to be able to do what they really wanted. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be good. And also, it won't be—it won't be—it won't really be a broken game, I don't think, guys. I don't think it'll be a broken game because it's gonna, the system's going to be so powerful. They're not going—it's not going to be a broken game at all. Mm, so, you know, that's going to be a good thing. If it's broken, I'd be very surprised because the PS3 version had a—the the reason I actually struggled with the PS3 version, actually, guys, is because the system was quite hard to make. Um, well, the system was hard to make games on. I know that it's possible, it's just, I don't think they could be bothered, to be honest. I mean, you know Bethesda, they're quite lazy as well. Um, as well as being good developers, they can be a bit lazy. And I suppose they, and they do value Microsoft over Sony, so, um, um, well, at least I think, well, they obviously do, I mean, guys. I mean, obviously guys will say, no, they don't. They will say, no, we don't. We like all our customers. That's really why you make a contract with them, to give them the DLC early, is it, to Bethesda? That's really why you do that. Everyone who's done that, guys, I'm sorry, everyone who does that, is it, it favors that console because I mean you should judge, you should treat your fans fairly no matter how much they pay you. I think it's I think the contract's over now anyway. So wow, this is far away far further away than I thought it was. Jesus. <laughs> what time is it now? Yeah, eight o'clock. So you see what I mean, guys? Why I left early? Why I left really early? I mean, it was five o'clock when I left. So it was be it has been a three hour travel. Three hours. It'll be about three and a half hour travel by the time I get there. But it's been a long travel, and that's with a black horse, guys. So imagine if I didn't have a black horse. Wow, that would have been long. If I, had, if I was walking, that would have been slow. If I was having a paint horse, it would have been slower. Because by now, guys, I'm probably faster than a, black, than a paint horse. I'm probably much faster than a paint horse. Because they're really slow. You do get one at the start of the game. Um, if you do the main quest, you get like a, a Wayne and Priory horse, but it's a paint horse. And it's about the, it's the same speed as a paint horse as well. And, and they are insanely slow. But at the start of the game, it's kind of like it's a good treat. Um, 
because you know you don't have a horse anyway and you'll be quite slow so it, it, at the start of the game it's very nice that they give you a horse oh god take your time horsey okay okay take your time i don't want to i don't want to lose you i'm not losing you we're going to walk down this one walking down oh dear slide yeah that's right okay i i'm, I'm taking my time here guys cuz i don't want to lose my horsey i'm not losing my horsey come on take your time take your time Take your time. That's good. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. I did it! I didn't lose my horse! I didn't lose my horsey. Yay! Right then. Here we go. I've arrived at Garlas Malatar. My sworn foe, Umriel the Unfeathered, awaits me inside. The final duty is my holy quest to find him and destroy him. I wouldn't really call him my sworn enemy. I mean, I only heard about him about a month ago in game, didn't I? So, I wouldn't really call him my, 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 um... My greatest enemy, or anything like that. I mean, only he only just heard about him technically. Okay. Greetings, Sir Knight. Where, where's where's hey, the one I want to talk to? Here, you. I stand ready, Lord Crusader. Shall we launch our attack on Gallus Malatar? That he pronounced it then. Uh, launch the attack. Knights of the Nine, Umaril and his Aurorans must be destroyed. Yay! We're ready for any. Charge! No Cliffhanger! 